today and a score. Hello and welcome to my introduction overview for this super duper super fighty flay. Our opponents will be flighty. Uh, super fighty dinosaur variation. I've used everything here before in the past, but there is a lot more emphasis on the fighting. Go over everything, some key things to remember, and we'll get right into it. Starting off with the beginning, we've got to have Primal Might, as always. And since I am leaning more towards the ramping side of things, definitely this one absolutely makes sense to sink everything I have available into it and make somebody big. Now, hopefully that is going to be Carnage Tyrant over here, because it's absolutely lovely to see this guy get to 15 power, 16, who knows how long the game has went. And then, of course, you're also likely going to be swinging with something that big it might be enough to finish him off but it's definitely nice being able to fight with carnage tyrant it's got hex proof so you don't have to worry about uh, the opponent using any sort of removal on carnage tyrant especially while it's temporarily damaged after fighting especially if you do take out something that is uh, pretty big for sure and then the two slot the classic i'm still using it thunder herd migration Whew. It's been quite lovely. It continues to be lovely. Stably ramping. It's pretty hard to kill a land where Thunderherd Migration would have been Otepic Huntmaster. It has been for quite some time in the past, but I'm still loving this. As long as I got two lands, Thunderherd Migration, that's going to really help get safely to turn three where hopefully I'm going Topiary Stomper to continue that nice, lovely ramp. Possibly playing Domri which is more fighting for sure. Inscription of Abundance, kind of similar to Primal Might. We got lots of land, so there's definitely a fantastic chance to kick this and put two counters on a creature, gain X life, where X is the greatest power among creatures we control, and target creature we control fights target creature they don't control. It's always lovely doing something at instant speed, fighting, doing a wide variety of things, but also it's not a dead card like Primal Might. So both of these we don't require a creature to make use out of them, which is always uh, sometimes a drawback with certain removal that is quite narrow. So, oh, these are my absolute all-time favorite picks. Well, I gotta have Marauding Raptor. I've tested out some lists without Marauding since it does die to Ow! Fatal Push, Ow! that sort of thing, quite easily. Ow! It does kick the bucket, but I didn't like it. I am marauding. I can't can't do without it. And then we saw the three slot with Topiary and Domri there, but we got to move to the four slot. In the past, I have used four Ripjaw Raptors and four shift. Excuse me, four shifting Ceratopses. Always great if we can get something like Marauding Raptor or Thunderherd Migration to power out either a shifting Ceratops or a Ripjaw Raptor on turn three. That is just. Uh, that's fantastic stuff. Gone back to Regisaur Alpha, you guys may have seen my previous stream with the uh, big fighting, super fighting dinos. Regisaur Alpha always comes in handy. I definitely missed this guy with my Forerunner Polyraptor list I used previously. Man, man, I, I can't leave home without this guy anymore. Maybe sometimes, but it's just so good. So absolutely fantastic. And then you saw Four copies of Carnage Tyrant. I mean, what is not to love about this? Oh, the Carnage Tyrant. Okay, I like it. Good stuff. Question is, do they have a sweeper next turn? You get multiples? Well, that's good. Possibly that's going to help you lock up the game and close things out a little bit easier. Lovely dino. Lovely thing to fight with. Domri. Possibly Inscription of Abundance. It's always nice when boost and power sticks around due to the 1-1 one -one counters. Never, never a bad day when you put in Carnage Tyrant in a dino list. Mana base, i got to go over that a little bit. We have three mountains and five forests. Previously I had that at six forests, but I forgot, as I sometimes do, to add in Lair of the Hydra here. So that's just why that is. But eight basic lands possibly could go to nine or ten. I just want plenty for Thunderherd Migration plus Topiary Stomper. If I had too little, sometimes I have been caught out with not having any basic lanes to search for, and these cards are mostly dead, while Thunderherd Migration is completely useless. At the very least, you know, Topiary Stomper is going to be a creature that you can use to attack and block by that point, but eight or nine usually seems to be the sweet spot, definitely. And then it's just the classic for Rockfall Vale, for Rootbound Craig, a single sheltered thicket. 
always love at least one copy of this, possibly two. You can get caught out when you unfortunately at some point draw two. It really slows things down in the early game, but late game, you know, you draw this, maybe you don't need it, cycle it for something better. That's always a lovely option. And then for stomping ground. All right, the sideboard, still tweaking it a little bit, but of course we got to have rampaging Ferocidon. I mean, that's just a given at this point. Stop them gaining life. Lots of little creatures, which, you know, Rakdos, red and black, sacrifice, tokens, whatever you want to call it. They keep making lots of stuff. They have the Cauldron Familiar. Uh, lots of little guys and rampaging Ferocidon, definitely. That can chip away and sometimes lock them out if you get enough early aggression. Oh boy, coming up, my, my, my. It's all about the sweepers, the interacting. We got 10 potential ways to fight starting out. And then we got Sweltering Suns, which is basically just three more copies of Anger of the Gods in my mind. Of course, Sweltering Suns doesn't exile creatures like Anger of the Gods, but I just wanted to go all in on that. That's about it, pretty simple. Sweep lots of little things and keep the board clear as we land some bigger guys. And then Soul Guide Lantern, you know it, you love it. For anything graveyard related that pops up, it hasn't been too common, but you know, you don't want to be caught out without something fantastic like Soul Guide Lantern. Alrighty, well, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Remember, there is always room for improvement.